Hey everyone, welcome to Code Harmony. Today we are going to solve lead code from ID 2131 longest palindrome by concatenating two letter words. This question has been asked in Google and Apple. Let's have a look on the problem statement. You are given an array of string words and each element of words contains a two, let two lowercase English letters. Okay, they are saying that this words array having words where every word is of two characters character 1 and character 2 create a longest possible palindrome by selecting some elements from the words and concatenating them in any order each element can only be used at once so whatever words are given to me I have to pick couple of words from it then concatenate them and form the longest length palindrome this is the processing we have to do and after that we have to return the longest palindrome length that you can create if it is impossible to create any palindrome then return zero this is just the definition of palindrome and this is just a definition of palindrome reads same from starting and the from back if I tell you that a b c b a if I read it from the starting it is a b c b a if I read it from the backward A B C B A so this is a palindrome A B is a palindrome A B A is a palindrome and now what I have to do is I have to concatenate couple of characters from this verse to form a longest palindrome what can be the answer in this case in this case if I just do something like this C L L C G G C L this is a palindrome and if I choose C L and then L C then the G G in the middle this is also a palindrome and what is the length of the longest palindrome that is 6 so 6 is going to be my answer in this case so this was our problem statement and now we have to think how we can solve it here if you try to analyze the palindrome let's say if I pick this the first character is same as the last character second character same as second last character third character is same as third last character this is left this is right while left is less than equal to right or no requirement of this equal the character at left should be equal to equal to character at right so this is the condition for palindrome see as we have to form this palindrome by picking up words from this words array and in this words array every word is of length 2 if every word is of length 2 so we'll be picking up element in groups one word at the starting one word at the ending if they have to form a palindrome the word should be reversed of each other let's say if I pick a word 1 at the starting and word 2 at the ending let's say in this case LC I have chosen then I will be able to use only LCL why because CL is the reverse of LC and how do we reverse a two character word LC this is the word character 0 character 1 word with character 0 later word with character 1 at the starting it will become LCL so order of one time to reverse any word what I need to do is if I just do any iteration over these words and start picking words one by one first word that I'm picking is LC I have picked it then I will be searching whether there is a reverse of this word in the list reverse I can find in order of one time and to search whether the reverse is present or not that too I need to find in a efficient time and for that what I can think of is that if I have a hash table created over these words or you can say these words are contained in a map then I will be able to directly tell you in order of one time that whether this CL is present in this words length or not so LC I picked up while doing the iteration over the words array words array yeah and CL I created a reverse of it and then checked whether the CL is also present or not if the CL is present then what I 
here if I'm having an option to choose LC as well as CL then I am 100% sure then the length will be incremented by 4 2 words from the first word and sorry 2 letter from the first word 2 letter from the second word so length will be add, appended by 4 incremented by 4 okay and after that what I have to do is I will think of CL whether I can choose CL or not but remember when we were choosing LC at that time we have chosen CL as well so here definitely I need to capture some kind of frequency frequency of these words so if I just create it create the frequency array it will be something like this LC is coming one time CL is coming one time and GG is coming one time so when I'm doing the iteration LC I have picked up and along with LC I will be C choosing CL if CL is not present then I will skip LC as well if LC have a reverse present in the world and we are allowed to use that it means that the frequency current frequency allowed frequency is should be greater than zero LC is one CL is one yes do, both we can use it if I'm using both it will be zero it will be zero frequency of both the words will be zero and the length will be incremented by four so this is what we can do and for CL we are not allowed to use it because the frequency is zero and what about GG GG has a, does not have a reverse but when we are checking in the map when I am checking GG and I reverse this word I will also get GG and this has a frequency of one so you need to add a special case in the in the situation where the word have first character and the last character equal to the same value in in this case if the first character and the last character is same then the frequency should be greater than one only in that case we can choose it why because if I'm using GG here and I'm thinking of using the same word again then the frequency should be greater than one one is not going to work here but there might be the situation where we are not using the pair in the middle I'm just appending it only once right like this a a b a, a. here a a a a this is also a palindrome and this is also a palindrome why because if there is only one character we are not concerned about whether it's uh, what character it is but the word is consisting of two characters but these two characters are same so if I have to append let's say one word I appended here one word I appended here one I appended here one I appended here the reverse of it one I appended here, here the reverse of it I appended here the word one the reverse of word one word two reverse of word two word three reverse of word three so far it is a palindrome I'm going to add after checking the frequency so I can I can be sure 100% that these the these words are forming a palindrome but what about the case where I just append a word GG in the middle yeah this will also be a palindrome but let's say if there is a word remaining let's say that is GL this is not going to be a palindrome because these two characters should be same to to remain at a palindrome so okay so if after processing we are left with any word where the first character and the last character is same then we can directly append it in the middle but let's say this is not the case we are talking about I am talking about this case GG in this case if I have to use the GG here the frequency of GG should be greater than 1 so consider these cases spatially so they are going to be a lot of if else cases a lot of uh, conditional cases in this pro program and uh, but we have a decent understanding to start working on our final algorithm let me take the same example here first of all I need to create a hash table create frequency map you can say creating a frequency map of every character so it will be something like this LC is coming one time 
CL is coming one time, GG is coming one time. And after that, what I can do, I will initialize a length equal to zero. Then I will be iterating over for all words belong to words. For every word in words, what I will do is I will pick the current word. If the frequency of the current word is greater than zero, then yeah, I can go ahead. And after this, I will create a reverse of word. The frequency of the reverse of word should also be greater than zero. Okay. If this is the case, I will move forward. Then I need to check one condition as well, where the word zero is equal to equal to word one. In this case, I want the frequency of word greater than one. Okay. See, we'll just use negative case. If the frequency of word is equal to equal to one, and if this is the case, then continue. Currently, I am building these scenarios. One word in the starting, one word in the ending. So W is in the starting and RW is in the ending. But if the word has a frequency equal to one and both the characters are same, we cannot use it. If this is the case, then I think after this, both the word are present in the map. I can use it. I can use it means the length plus equal to four. But after that, frequency of word minus minus frequency of reverse word minus minus. So this is something I need to do to maintain the balance. So here, if I just pick LC, it will be zero. CC, it, CL, it will be zero. Now this is done. Now my palindrome is created like this. L, C, C, L. I just need to see if there is any other word I can place in between at this position. See, we are not actually creating the word. We are just calculating the length and length. We are calculating on the basis of these hash map items. And after this second condition, I will see if we can still use any other word. If I am still using any other word, that word should be in this form. Word zero is equal to word one. So for all keys, for all keys, frequency of that key should be greater than zero. Frequency of that key should be greater than zero. And in this case, if uh, the key is having first letter is equal to second letter, then we can append two more in the length. Previously, I was using four in the length. Then I can use two in the length. And here my program is over. Program is over like LC, CL, but after that I'm iterating over again. Then a key is having value greater than zero. So I will check whether the key is having first character and the last character same so I can use it. So G, G, I am using in the middle. So that's that's the code. That is our program. Here, yeah, what is the time and space complexity for a for a program? Time is like we are iterating and creating the frequency map and we are creating over the words again, reversing and uh, finding the map that is a constant time operation. And after that, we are iterating over it again to see if there is any word where first character and last character is same and the frequency is greater than zero. So it's a linear time operation. And what about the space? Here in this case, I am maintaining a space. And if I talk about the space, I have only two possibilities. Here at the first step, I have 26 possibility. Here at the second step, I have 25, 26 possibilities. So if it is order of 26 into 26, or you can say constant space. You can further optimize and analyze over these conditions, but I have kept it like this, like in a straightforward manner, which we are going to think in the first go. And this is the program and, uh, and now I will show you the code. First of all, I created a map and in the map, I'm going to store the frequency of every single two letter word. Then this is the length. Initially, it is initialized to zero. Iterating over every single word, I will see 
whether this word is already utilized or not because there might be the possibility when uh, we are using LC and after some time when we try to use CL, CL is already used. So let's say I have picked LC. Then I will create a reverse of it. This is a special case where the word is in this form, GG. In this case, there should be one more GG in uh, at a, like as a, as a different word to be able to use it. So first caret first letter is equal to the second letter and the word frequency is one. In that case, we can't use it twice. Otherwise, we can use it. We can use word and we can use reverse of word. And the frequency of both the word, word and reverse word should be decremented by one. So this is something I will be doing, keep on doing for every single word. And after that, after that, I need to check my key set whether there is any word still present which is having first character first letter and say second letter equal to then we can use that word as well in between uh, these two section we created let me print out this st uh, print statement and that's all we have to do this is something we discussed uh, in our algorithm and and the at the end we'll be having the length of the length of the palindrome longest palindrome that we can form using these words let me run over sample test cases sample test cases are passed i'm submitting the problem i'm getting the wrong answer why i'm getting the wrong answer okay let let me just have a quick look on my algorithm for every word if the word is less than zero then we have to continue but the word if but if the word is zero not present then also we cannot use it this is something i was missing let me submit it again now it got submitted successfully i hope you understood the approach i have kept it very simple and straightforward now it's uh your on your side you if you want to optimize or remove some couple of condition from this code thank you guys and in case you get any doubt you just comment down below or discuss in the discord community i will be available to reply. Thank you. Bye-bye.